Angela Okore has come out to drag Zubi Michael for showing off during Junior Pope's burial. According to the video trending on social media, Zubi Michael was seen giving out bundles of money to Junior Pope's family members. However, this did not go down well with Angela Okore, being that she is a very good friend of Junior Pope. She took it to her Instagram handle to rant about Junior Pope's Junior uh, about Zubi Michael showing off during Junior Pope's burial. According to her, Junior Pope is a young guy that just died. Why the show of why the if, if if he wanted to give out money on his burial, he should have done that privately. Hi guys, you're welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time stumbling upon this video. Please do well to click on the subscribe button, turn on your post notification bell for more videos. And for my returning subscribers, thank you for always staying with me. Please do well to like this video, share this video if you find it helpful, and leave a comment on the comment section. However, Zubi Michael has also decided to ignore her. He is not saying anything at all. He's not responding to her. And this has made a lot of Nigerians come out to say that Angela has been dragging a lot of people lately, that she might be suffering from depression or a mental breakdown. And also, Angela Correa has come out to say that she's not suffering from a mental breakdown, that she's saying what has been going on in the Nollywood industry. If anybody likes, they should believe her. If they don't like, they should leave it. That she will always say the truth, that she, she's not scared of anybody. She's there to reveal what has been going on in the movie industry. Let me let you watch the video, guys. Sorry about the sound, but I'm going to explain. As you can see, this is the part where Zubi Michael gave bundles of money to Junior Pope's family in order to show his own little support. But Angela Okoye, according to her, she said it was a show of. He was rather showing off to the public than empathizing with the bereaved. She took to her Instagram to say that, and I'll read. Zubi, if you really wanted to give money to Junior Pope's family, you forgive them quietly. The way I they take gi they give you that year codedly, nobody go know. You carry camera plants, make them, they video you, they give bundle of money to JP family. We all know you with propaganda. Just get out that bag. Zubi, now a young person died, the showcase of money wasn't necessary. But as a local boy that you are, you know you don't have sense. You don't know where to do show and where to behave and where to behave well. I bet you get money past all the dignitaries where come there. Mugu. It did not finish there. She also went on. If you go Facebook and some of these social media platforms, these bombastic things say their mama, they mad. Them say their mama and papa get mental health. Imagine, they are channeling what I'm saying to madness. Dirty people. Even my pictures where Una they match with theirs. Zubi Michael and Mercy looks more like mad people. Ndiara, the only thing where the only thing you people know how to do is to kill and destroy. Because that's what the devil do. Keep paying people to tarnish my image against all odds. Truth must be told. I I want you all to leave me alone. Una no agree. This is just the beginning. It did not only finish there. Yole Doche also came out to drag Junior Pope after he had died. Because the... Some Nigerians also noticed that he did not say anything when Junior Pope died. He did not wish him, he did not say rest in peace. He did not post him on any of the social media. We all thought he, that he was mourning privately. Did, little did we know that yo, Edoche had something against Junior Pope. Even if you had something, this is someone that is already dead and gone and buried. Why come out to drag him now that he's buried? Why didn't you say something while he was still alive? However, he also took to his Instagram handle to write that. I'll read. He wrote in his story that I didn't want to say anything till after his burial. I know many asked why I wasn't there. Why I haven't said anything about it since. 
I took him like a brother and good friend. I was there for him when he needed me, but he stabbed me in the back repeatedly. That's life. I'll drop the full details soon so others can learn from it. Be careful what you wish people. It could come back to you. Anyway, I don't know what happened transpired against between your Edoche and Junior Pope. But him coming out now to, to drag a dead man, someone that is already dead and buried, is insensitive for me. So I don't know what every other person thinks. But for me, it is very, very insensitive. No matter what happened, when this guy was alive, you did not come out to say anything. But now that he's dead and buried, you're coming out to drag him. Drag him as what? It is very insensitive of you all. It is very, very insensitive and immature. Whatever happened, the guy is dead. He's not here to defend himself. So why come out to say things about him? Or you're planning to say things about him? I feel your Edoche should grow up instead of having, instead of putting himself every time in this kind of mess, messy situation. Thank you guys for always staying with me. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.